I also want to tell you about Frank Hochmann, the man who started Initiatives of Change. Many of you have known about this for a long time. People all over the world, and we have traveled in all these countries, are working with Initiatives of Change to make a difference in the world. It all started with this one man. He was an American, but his ancestors were Swiss. They came and settled in Pennsylvania, not far from Philadelphia. And that is where Frank Bookman was born. And as a young man, he wanted to do something for the very needy people, for the orphans. And he started an orphanage for young boys who had no parents. And there was a committee of businessmen who gave money for this. And Frank Bookman was running this orphanage as a very young man. He was very good to look after these young people. He wanted more money to do more things for them, to expand his work. But his committee of businessmen said, sorry, we can't give you money. This is all we can give, no more. And Frank Bookman became very unhappy. He became quite bitter. He became so bitter that he became ill. But his illness was inside. It was not something the doctors could cure. So a doctor said to him, I think you should travel. Maybe you should go to Europe and take your mind off this dispute you have. And we suggest also that you take a hot bath in the morning and a cold bath in the evening. And if that does not work, have a cold bath in the morning and a hot bath in the evening. <laughs> so he traveled to Europe. He had his hot baths. He had his cold baths. And he, he became one of the cleanest men outside. <laughs> but he was not happy. Inside him there was this thing burning and boiling, troubling him. And one day uh, there was a meeting in England that he went to in the year 1908. That is 102 years ago. He was then 30 years old. And something that was said at that meeting changed Frank Hoffman. And he came out of the meeting and he said that those six businessmen who did not give me more money, they were wrong. Perhaps. But I was the seventh wrong man because I kept my bitterness against them. I was the seventh wrong man. And he decided that he would write letters of apology to all those six people. Dear friend, I have nursed ill will against you. He didn't say I have had some bad thoughts about you. He said I have nursed ill will against you which means that I have preserved it, I've encouraged it, I've fed it, I've fanned it, I've inflamed it. I've nursed ill will against you. I'm sorry, yours sincerely, Frank. And he posted six different letters from England to Philadelphia. He got not a single letter back. There was no reply to his letters of apology. But something happened to him. This bitterness which was a weight on his shoulders, it left him. And he became a new man. He changed. And then he was able to change some other people. And one by one, as Mother Teresa said, he was able to change individuals, or God used him to change individuals. And this amazing work of initiatives of change 
I'll just chat with people.